must be Wednesday. Restart day. That's right. Rolling restarts here at the wonderful Second Lives. Looks like we all end up over here at the Adult River. The Adult River's got it going on. People, that's right, popping in half-clothed. <laughs> Look at all the cool avatars. Just neat as can be. This is right. We call this the Linden Lab Surprise, LLS. Mm-mm, too much fun? Yes, way too much fun. And they just keep coming and coming. Check it out. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. This is DJ Adam Zero One Time coming to you from Second Life. That's right. It is Rolling Rock Wednesday. <laughs> no, we're all rolling starts, but I'll be drinking some Rolling Rocks if they don't get it going again, right? So, hey, let's uh, take a look here. Today, if you go into the G spot, you will see that I have a couple of polls. These are polls that uh, I feel that are strongly need to know because uh, I haven't voted yet. As a matter of fact, I refuse to vote because if people think I'm voting, then I'm going to go one way or the other. But I'm not going to. In my experience, uh, I will let you know, in my experience with polls uh, of uh, founders, uh, I like the way Linden Labs has always done it. They have never been contacted in worlds by Linden Labs. One time by a staff when I first started uh, to help me figure out how to get in my house, my Linden Lab home. That was it. Uh... That said, uh, if uh, my my point of view is uh, founders uh, or grid owners should never ever even go into a forum, and there's a reason why. If they are, they they want to use it as an alternate, is because what they say has got God powers behind it, and uh, it could hurt them. People would leave them. It could hurt other people uh, to post in a forum as a uh, uh, more than a moderator uh, is, 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 from my point of view, only hurts the grid owners themselves. Uh, I've seen the attacks that when grid owners are known and they, they are know who they are, they absolutely uh, set themselves up. Uh, this is to protect the grid owners, by the way. I think they should never post in a forum. They should never do nothing to anything that's going to deal with the inside world. To protect themselves, not to protect the other, to protect themselves, because the moment you draw a line in the sand as a grid owner, you lost half your clientele. They're going to be on one side or they're going to be on the other side. Uh, first thing I'm going to say is you allow me to, you allow this person to troll me, and because they're your friend, uh, I'm going to leave. Then the word gets out that you allow this to go on. Uh, it's true. You know, I've got it documented over and over, all the different form grid owners that allow people to troll them, and those people are their friends, and that's very unprofessional. These are commercial grids, by the way, that are charging for money. Uh, for your people that are just, uh, you know, like open sim or whatever, just drop a grid and saying, hey, come be with us, that's fine. But once you're commercial, uh, if you're commercial, that's all to it. Do I think the grid owners should be in world if it's commercial grid? No, not at all. Never. Never said it. Never said. There's nothing he can't do with an alt, and uh, nobody should ever know that they're in there. There's a lot of reasons why, because that level of power inside a game is a game changer the moment they sit on the land. And I say to you, grid owners, the moment you do that on a commercial grid, you've really made a mistake. Because your the ability, you hurt yourself. You, you will divide. And uh, the only person will get conquered will be you, because once you divide your customers, you've lost half. That's my point of view. Get in the polls. Let me know what you think. I appreciate your time doing it. We've got a great show today. We're going to go into look at this uh, Hagar's Liquid, man. It's beautiful. Got to do it. You guys got to check it out. It's wild. There we go, man. It's cool stuff. Greetings, everybody. We're coming to you from Second Life. That's right. Hagar's Liquids. It's a beautiful place. And, uh, 
man, let's check it out. Easing out upon the huge, tangled, electronic, sci-fi steampunk, I make my way down the ramp, towards the bottom, to where I am able to mingle with the people in hopes of hailing a cab in this cabinet's huge build that just goes on and on. Making my way down to the bottom, I find myself in front of the terminals. Yes. A taxi cab comes floating in with people aboard it. Move about and ready myself for the trip, the journey to the sci-fi steampunk maze of electronic music, hard. Blinding speeds blister down through the cities. Smoothly navigating our way in there. This is size of this place. This captivates me. The sounds that come from everywhere. The electric hardcore music blaring to my ears as I come upon them. Make my way through the maze of this never ending jungle. Steel, wire, and electrons flying at millions of miles an hour through space. Making my way up through the maze of streets, I find myself at the restaurant. I go in to relax. quite fun checking out this place and getting up in here <laughs> wow what a huge build I didn't see one tenth of it it just goes on and on and on and on it's just amazing uh, you get a chance here come check it out DJ Adam zero one time let's get going to the show Tell you what, that Hagar's Liquid is an awesome place. You can spend days down there. Tell you what, coming up here is the news. That's why right, virtual news. Hey, everybody, get on over there to the wonderful Hypergrid Nights. That's right, not alone. She's got some stuff going on over there. She always does have a good time over there. And then Safari earlier today. That's right. I guess between I don't know around 12 noon and 2 p.m. I never can't forget these guys out. I always just get there early, get over there and check out the Safari. Uh, nights, whatever it is. It's really cool. They do hypergrid safaris and stuff, and they go around and do things. Uh, uh, don't forget Rob Stock's coming up. That's right. Mrs. Page over there, she does a great job putting that together. Uh, and Xenia, all those things. Sunbeam, everybody get on over there and hang out with them and get some uh, 
It's a wonderful charity. Uh, now for the real news. Tunisia Museum attacked. 17 killed, three gunmen at large. Ooh, look at that. And guess who wins over there? <laughs> this really election means that nut. Yahoo has won that right. That's right. Netanyahu has won. And probably <laughs> not going to be uh, Obama's fan. Huh? Why would he be Obama's fan? The guy came over here and, oh, man. Did what? He didn't do nothing wrong. He came over and gave a speech. He didn't do nothing wrong. Uh, that's it. Russell Brand, he's got something. Get your pillow. Go hang out with him. He's got a sleepover protest. Boop, boop, boop. That's right. <laughs> That's right, man. He's got to keep him from demolition that place. New England Patriots tried to reach. Oh, heck, they can't even get air in a ball. Who cares? You know what? There's just really nothing good in here in the news today. Is there anything really nice in here? Like somebody did something good for somebody? You know, I just don't see it in here. Well, that's it for the date. <laughs> that's it, Dad, because you know what? We're out of here. There's no good news. We don't want it. And let's go to the virtual world. Maze of electronic music. Hard. Blinding speed blistered down through the cities. Smoothly navigating our way 